sunny pinters and welcome to another pond side chat pond side pond side and it's a little sprinkly out here so we'll be dewy by the time it's done yes it's and it's getting... sprinkling harder and harder so we'll go through this quickly we got a lot a lot to cover so i'm a little nervous about how this is going to go uh, <laughs> all right so first of all if you haven't done so already you should be subscribing to this youtube channel our youtube channel the sunny pine so that you can see the pond side chats when they come out. The little bell next to the subscribe button will give you notifications when new stuff comes out. And then if you aren't doing so already, you should also be following us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter for all the latest happenings here at The Pint. Links to all of that are down below. And if you are not signed up for our newsletter, shame on you, you should be. You can fix that by going to our website and signing up for the newsletter. And a link to that is right down below too. So let's get to it. What are you drinking today, Sue? I am drinking a Von Hinken. Are you drinking Von Hinken? Not today. Not today. <laughs> Von Hinken is the original contest beer. And this week we had an event that if you bought a beer this week on Wednesday, um, you got a glass and on the back of the glass, it tells you how you can enter their contest to win $1,000. They give away $1,000 every week. And I'm going to let you know in the comments, we should know by then if anyone from our event won this week. Yeah, fingers crossed. We yeah. got some really good entries. So. Mm -hmm. And that's a Helles Lager, right? It's a Munich style Helles Lager, yes. Uh, this uh, kid, his kid, adult, his <laughs> great grandfather's recipe, and I guess he brewed it up in New York in the 1800s. He uncovered his grandfather's recipe, and he's got a brewery in Orlando brewing it for him. And like I said, you post on their Instagram and tag them. You have a chance to win a thousand dollars every week. Yes, indeed. So, come check it out. It's still on tap here, so you yeah. can be drinking with Von Hinken here. Yes. Uh, and you? What are you drinking? I'm drinking s'mores from Southern Tier. Now you know I do love me some Southern Tier, high test, sweet, nitro delicious beers. nitro beers. This is a milk stout, and just like s'mores, it's got the flavors of chocolate and marshmallow. Mm. It's really good. I tasted it. It's really it the other good. Day. I mean, it's not something you can do a lot of because it is pretty boozy and it is very sweet. Mm -hmm. But it is delicious. So it's a nice, it's a nice little uh, interesting. And people don't drink beer. Try this. Yeah, it's, really, it's good. really good. It is really good. So let's talk about last week. Last week, yeah, big week. Big week. We started off the week with Alex and not Alex. Well, <laughs> Alex, yes. But. <laughs> well, I mean. They're, they're called Sandra and Alex mm -hmm. the Kid. Uh, I mean, Alex is fantastic, so of course, maybe I was just giving him top billing for yeah. a moment. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, we love both of you, Sandra and Alex, so there's no favoritism <laughs> here. Oh, uh, she's going to get me on this one, I can tell. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but we had a great time with them. There are tons of people here just having a blast singing along, so uh, great, great time. Yeah, it Come is always them fun. Yeah. If we have them performing and we, somebody said to me, please, please make sure you bring them back. We will. Yeah, they're scheduled <laughs> every month. I think we miss one month in the fall. I think they got something going on that we couldn't get them in. But yeah, through the end of uh, uh, December, we have them every month. So come and check them yeah. out. And as Sue mentioned, on Wednesday, we had the Von Hinken event. I don't know if I got any photos from it. Well, but oh, look on the Von Hinken website and you might see some yeah, familiar faces. Yeah, go check it out. Um, the uh, Von Hinken Instagram page should have some entries from that day. Mm -hmm. So check it out. Yeah. Check it out. Uh, then on Thursday, we had Man Pants. Yep, Scott, Scott Man Jean. <laughs> Scott was in the house, had a wonderful time. Uh, it was good to see some friends hadn't seen in in a while. And uh, just everyone had a really good time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, fantastic. Oh, it was nice to have Scott around. Oh, so yeah, yeah. We, uh, we really enjoy. And, and yesterday we had Michelle Ingram. Yay, Michelle! And she had a big group of people come <laughs> in. There must have been about 20 of them. They took over the whole community table. That sounds like but, fun. I mean, it was not raucous or anything. They were just big Michelle fans and it was so much fun. They were just singing along and requesting songs. It was a great, great time. And then other people were here and the weather was nice enough that people actually sat outside too. It was a great day yesterday. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. So another wonderful week here at the Pint, but guess what? There's great stuff coming up this week too. Oh yes. We have 
Uh, My beer is turning into a bit of a light beer with all of the raindrops <laughs> in it. <laughs> That's right, Sunny Pinters. We will sit in the rain for you. Yeah. <laughs> We're dedicated. We're committed. <laughs> um, committable. <laughs> yeah, there you go. There you go. All right. Um, so this week coming up, uh, as we've mentioned before, we're still open for brunch on Sundays uh, from 11.30 till 4. Yep. So come join us for that. Uh, it's delicious. Yes. And, uh, you know, some of that stuff might be going away in the fall because we'll be doing football. Mm -hmm. um, we'll have some special items during uh, those games, too. Yes. So... so you know, come check it out now while we're mm -hmm. still doing a full-on brunch. Mm -hmm. I think I might move right into football next. Is that cool? Go for it. So preseason football has started. As you know, I saw the Bills play yesterday and some of the other people got to see their teams. Uh, we can show the stuff that's on NFL Network and some of the local channels. I, the other preseason games are kind of tough to find, uh, but the, the ESPN and NFL Network ones definitely we are showing and um they're like three on saturdays three or four on saturdays and we're having a fantasy football event this year if you guys play fantasy football and are looking for a place to do your fantasy football draft on sunday september 4th we're doing we have one group coming in they're going to be here from five to eight and we ordered fantasy football draft kits from uh direct tv and every player will get a small where you can keep track of what everybody's doing. We have stickers with every player in the league listed on them, and there's some blank spots for people who may have been signed. And then a big, this is only half of it, a big draft board that you can put up on the wall. We have four of these kits. If you're interested in joining us uh, on that day, Sunday, September 4th, we're going to designate that to our fantasy football kickoff day. Uh, let us know. We'll sign you up, get you reserved, so you'll have a spot for your team and your group. And I think it's going to be a ton of fun. That is going to be blast. Yeah, the, the group we've had in before, this will be their third year coming to do their draft. They come every year to do their draft, and they have a great time because we have great beer, great food. Yes. And it's fun. So if you're thinking of looking for a place for your fantasy draft, we got you covered with our stuff just give us a call yes yes and i will say that that group is a ton of fun it really makes the whole environment just so much fun mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. um the person who loses their fantasy football uh t pool mm -hmm. every year has to dress up in the style dictated by the winner mm -hmm. and, and it's usually a ridiculous outfit and it's usually absolutely hilarious yes so if for nothing else if you want if you were just thinking oh we'll draft at home or whatever it's worth it come on in <laughs> yeah. it's worth it it's fun <laughs> it's a lot of fun so yeah i just wanted to get that out there because uh fantasy football season's coming up soon and it stopped raining just like that yay ah florida Okay, well, also this week, we have Brandon Dull coming in mm -hmm. on Tuesday. Brandon is always wonderful. He has, uh, he's just, he's very mellow, but also... He's, really good. He's so good. Yeah. So come check him out. We also, for the first time, we're very excited, we'll be having Billy Buchanan mm -hmm. come on Thursday the 18th. Uh, and we're excited. We have seen him, I've seen him at Edna's, and also uh, we've seen him at, at the, the square. square. Yeah, with his um, big band. It's just him. Yeah, uh, so this will be more mellow. It's more like what he does at Edna's. And it was, uh, it, it was a great show. So we're very excited to have Billy Buchanan come to the Sunny Pipe family. Mm -hmm. And I think, I think his, I'm not sure the correct name of his band that you might have seen at the stair square but i think it's his rock and soul review or something mm. so he'll play some of his original songs he'll play lots of rock and soul and that's gonna be really great yeah it's it's a wonderful time uh also on thursday it's pinot noir day pinot noir come on in and have a lovely glass of pinot noir <laughs> we, we, don't, we don't have the one that i used to like right the name of it. the scarlet of paris no mm -hmm. we now have carson scott uh for, also very good it's right? very good and we have a white Pinot Noir 
oh, which yeah. you can try on Pinot Noir Day if you are not a red wine drinker. Mm -hmm. So uh, we have options for you. Yeah, yeah. And then also on Saturday, August 20th, we'll be welcoming another performer. Harry O will yeah. be coming in. And yeah. he does a lot of standards and all that kind of stuff. So that should be really fun. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, and then as Sue said, after that, we start, we have to get ready for some football. Yeah, football. yeah. It is coming. Yep, the uh, NFL season starts on September 8th on Thursday. And um, the Bills do not play that Sunday because they're playing Thursday night, but we will be showing the Bills games every Sunday that they are playing. Mm -hmm. And it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a lot of fun. It's gonna get crowded this year, folks. So get here early, get mm -hmm. your spots. Yes. Okay, so let's talk about the beers this week. Shall I start? You shall. Von Hinken, the Hell's Lager from Von Hinken, and delicious. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. Excuse me. That's all. That's all I had to say about it. <laughs> I like the name of this one. Me too. Bear lasers. <laughs> Laser beams. <laughs> We're going to attach lasers to the bears. <laughs> bear lasers. Uh, it's an IPA from Hidden Springs. This is the first time we've had Hidden Springs. I think we had one other thing from oh, them. Oh, did we? Yeah, yeah, but we've just okay. started getting them recently. Yeah. It's exciting. Mm -hmm. It's very exciting. It's always fun to get new beers. And then we have the Hazy IPA from Unbranded, an excellent Hazy IPA. It's mm -hmm. always very popular. And then S'mores from Southern Tier up in New York. And Wakulla, the Hefeweizen mm -hmm. from First Magnitude. We haven't had this for a while. I generally like to get uh, the larger kegs of the Hefeweizens because they're so popular. Um, and this one, I was able to get a big keg of it. So this would be around for a little while and it's an excellent Hefeweizen. First Magnitude makes such good beers. And then uh, Ace Pineapple Cider. This was, this was one of the original ones we had on tap when we first opened and it is super, super popular. Mm -hmm. So come in and check that out. Mm -hmm. uh, aesthetics, the Pineapple Blackberry Berliner Weiss from Hourglass, oh. from their Sour Glass division. Ooh, how fun. Yeah. I have to try, I haven't tried that one yet. And then uh, Unholy, a Trapel from Copper Tail. Mm -hmm. always, always popular. Always popular. Mm -hmm. And then this one took a little while to get on. The, the beer uh, was hanging around before and just a little longer than we thought. And finally, we can say we have the Lexington Vanilla Barrel Cream Ale back on tap. That is that also... is so popular. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come on in and get it, folks, because it won't last. Even though it's a big barrel, it will go quickly. Yes. <laughs> it's very popular. And then Show Pigeon, an IPA from Central 28. Yeah, we haven't had that for a while. No, we haven't, so, but it's yeah. a solid, nice, solid IPA. Mm -hmm. Night Swim, the uh, chocolate porter from Copper Tail. Just got that back on. That's really good, too. Yeah, I'm looking at all these, and I'm like, I should have done my little, like, two or three fisting it. Yeah. Um, Bloom well, a lot of these are big kegs, so you'll be okay. Okay. Blooming Lemonade from Playa Linda over mm -hmm. in Titusville. Yep, yep. So this is a wheat beer, it's really good. A cold IPA from Motorworks. Motorworks? Cold IPAs are, um, <laughs> they're getting kind of popular. I'm imagining that they are cold fermented, like a lager as opposed to an ale that's kind of more room temperature uh, fermented. And this is also the collaboration with the Pink Boot Society. Uh, a lot of the breweries have done a beer where it's a specific hop I think they used this year for the Pink Boots Society and Pink Boots Society is a, um, a collaboration or a group uh, for uh, female women brewers. Oh cool. So, yeah. Very uh, cool. So yeah so that's that's their contribution to the Pink Boots Society beer this year. Awesome. That's yeah. really cool. And then last but not least Smooth Operator by Hal Patter. <laughs> Which I you don't know what it is. I don't know anything about. <laughs> yes. We have never had this before because I didn't know what it was because I just saw the name. It is a chocolate peanut butter stout. Ooh. And it smells amazing. I mean, I tasted it. It's amazing. But you just, the smell is just amazing. Yeah, Hell Petter makes great stuff. They do. So. Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we did 14 beers this week. Yes. For the past couple of weeks, we've done like three or four. We did 14 this week. So. Yes. We did. It's raining it's again. It's a busy, busy week. It's not raining that hard. No. It's kind of like a Florida blessing. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. When we went to Hawaii, we would always say that it was a Hawaiian blessing because it would periodically just start to rain out of nowhere. Mm hmm. So this is a Florida blessing. I guess so, yeah. Mm hmm. I don't know if we'll see the rainbow like we would in Hawaii, but. <laughs> eh. Oh well. That's okay. Could, could dream. Could dream. Dream a little dream for me. <laughs> 
dream a little. No. All right. <laughs> Are we done? I think we're done. Yeah, well, that was a lot of information. It and I'm was. sorry we got it so quickly, but we were trying to avoid the rain. <laughs> I, oh my goodness, I was supposed to have a task for people. I know. I failed my duties, people. It was a, it was a weird week. So. It was a weird week. But, uh, let's see. You know what? I want all of you to figure out. I want you to go find out for the Pink Boot Society. Go find out what other Pink Boot Society beers are out there, maybe from Florida. Yeah, good idea. Check and let out. us know what hops they used this year. Yes. See? <laughs> Working on the fly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, okay, that's enough. All right. I'm crazy. <laughs> All oh, right. and Jimmy Mac members, your beer packs are ready to pick up, and our beer swap is on Wednesday. See, look, it's all you people who wait to watch through to the very bitter end and you know who you are, you get the benefit of all this witty banter mm -hmm. that people who stop midway through don't get. Yes. Yes. <laughs> so witty. <laughs> or inane. <laughs> okay. All right. uh, that's it for now. You have yourself a fantastic week and come see us at the pint. We look forward to it. Cheers. Cheers.